When I heard Bia Garuta was the Tarantino manga, I just had to pick up issue one. And yeah, that's Tarantino all right. This about sums up the first book. Bring out the gap. Not sure I can show you how he got these bandages, but I saw it happen in great detail. Okay, so as far as the story, turns out you have to read the whole series to understand it. So I kind of gave up trying to remember who's who. Because there's a lot of women and a lot of them have something with their eye. Doesn't really matter because the art is beautiful and the dialogue is simple in a way. Like here, this Pulp Fiction type banter between two henchmen who find out the same, let's call her a bar lady, is sending them the exact same love messages. And what makes it even more Kill Bill? Gun nunchucks! And I love how even the thinnest outlines of the ladies seem to be broken up in many strokes, like here. Oh hey, there's his finger. Koro koro. And all the shadows as well are dropped with those thin rough lines. Also gotta love those classic 70s and 80s Yakuza leather couches. I'm really digging this style, so let's give it a try. Starting from that leather couch, let's make it a stool and put a lady on it. So Bea Guruta is written and drawn by Hiroaki Samura and the anatomy is very realistic except for the faces which are still that exaggerated manga style. Sharp chins and big ears for some reason. And the action scenes have the speed lines and fades which I really like. But for today I'm just gonna draw a sitting pose. I started off with how I would draw it myself. But then checking the manga again I see his bodies have longer torsos and thinner limbs. So let's flip and edit on my trusty homemade light box. Yep, that's more like it. I like making my characters X-Men, so this will be the Jim Lee version of Black Widow. Okay, now for the manga review, art is A+, but definitely also 18+, so that's another warning. Action also perfect. The mix of the realism with the manga design works really well. The story is probably very good, but to tell you the truth, it's a bit too graphic with the torture and stuff for me to commit to this series, so I will have to give it only one on my scale. Romance, uh, cliffhangers. I think if you're into the subject matter, it's probably very fun to puzzle those story pieces together. So let's say two. Japanese, it doesn't have furigana, which makes me have to do this with my phone for the difficult kanji. And that's not so fun because the translations don't really make sense. But like I said, the language itself is not that difficult and there's some everyday stuff in there. Like when they just chat or eat food. So yeah, two. 
which is a total of 12. Not bad. Above Lone Wolf and Cub, but under a One Punch Man. If it didn't have the gore, um, the nudity I don't mind that much. <laughs> it would have been number one because it just looks beautiful. So check it out if you're into this kind of manga. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next manga review. Catch you next time.